How's it going, people on YouTube? Uh, I got a new case today. Uh, we have a um, Blackberry. Actually, I had a bunch of these Blackberries coming through uh, for forensic work, but I have uh, one that I want to show uh, on video. This is a Blackberry 9930. These are one of the hardest ones to work with because of the type of epoxy that we'll use uh, under the chip. Uh, that epoxy melts at a very high point, uh, way higher than the, than the solder itself. So hard to remove. Um, the success rate on these is much lower than any other Blackberry because of the epoxy, uh, because then there's cleaning involved and cleaning also sometimes will damage the chip. So I'm gonna be very careful in working on this particular one. Um, uh, I already recorded the footage of me removing it, so it, it is a successful job. Uh, but anyways, let's get to it and see how it all worked out. So first thing that's visible that this Blackberry is password protected. Um, the user entered the password 10 times, so if you type in Blackberry now, it's just gonna wipe it. So uh, the only way we can do this is we can um, uh, remove the chip and read, the, read it through UFED. So first thing we'll do is take it apart. Uh, Blackberry is fairly simple to take apart. Um, I have to kind of preserve this particular Blackberry in one piece when I'm done, so um, I'm taking it easy. I'm trying not to destroy anything because this will be held in evidence later. So we're just removing everything and we get into the shield. So this is where the shield is. And uh, according to the FCC website, this is where the chip is. Uh, it's under the shield by the SIM card. So the chip is sitting right here under the shield. Uh, on the other side is the uh, CPU. So I'm gonna start um, rolling the, the shield back. Uh, I'm not gonna use a heat gun to remove the uh, shield because I don't wanna damage the, the uh, memory chip. It's, it's pretty uh, sensitive to heat. Uh, so we're gonna uh, take it slowly. I'm gonna try to grab the edge right by the CPU and uh, Roll it back a little bit and uh, <clears throat> Once you get this process going, it's 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 fairly simple from that point uh, You can roll it back and the shield is sitting very close to the memory chip itself. So um, I have to be very careful when when rolling this back so you can damage the corners of the, uh, the memory chip and uh, Here's the shield rolled back and uh, you can see this the Samsung memory chip I think it's an 8 gig, um, depending on the model of the Blackberry. Here's that epoxy that I was mentioning earlier, it's super hard. And on the 9930, it's sitting right underneath of the chip and some of it's sitting on the edge. Uh, you can see it here, I'm also going to get rid of the camera, we don't need it anymore. Um, you can see these epoxies everywhere, it's, it's, it's around the CPU and the memory chip. It's right there too, it's, it's really hard, like, even if you, if you use heat. And try to scrape her off it, it takes forever to remove so now i'm going to start the uh, bga rework machine and the board is already mounted at this point and now uh, here's the the board underneath the healing heating element so we're just going to put some uh, flux around the chip Heating should start any minute now. You can see it's uh, it's starting to melt, and somewhere around here I actually had a some kind of fire. You can see it here in slow motion. I don't know what happened there, but uh, it was probably some component or some flux maybe exploded. In any case, uh, no damage was done to the chip. And here is the chip lifting up, and we got it off. So the next step is to clean it. Uh, cleaning process takes um, takes a bit of effort. It's I'm trying to keep the uh, the temperature of the soldering iron as, as low as possible, just enough to kind of melt it. And you can see it here; it's it's, uh, it's cleaned up halfway. I'm not going to go any further. I want to see if it reads at this point. I'm trying to really limit the uh, heat. And here's the chip cleanup. I'm just going to put it in the reader. I'm gonna plug it into the machine, and this time I'm gonna use R Studio. I, I use different tools to image the chips. I'm gonna use the R Studio here uh, to take a bit by bit uh, image of the entire chip. This process took a few minutes, I think. And that uh, it's finished here, and it saved a complete image of the chip. So we're gonna go over to UFED, and as always, we're gonna start a new advanced case. Um, and type in the model number of the device. This is 9930, it's a physical. 
we select our images and this is how the decoding process uh, starts I usually look at the trace window to see for any issues uh, we were not able to decode uh, WhatsApp database on this phone but we got everything else and here's the process done anyways thanks for watching uh, we're gonna have more videos coming up uh, for 2019 if you like our videos please subscribe